a step. Mm. We love that. We love that for me. Anyway, I am back on YouTube. I know, I know, I've been gone for a hot minute, y'all, and my last video was like April times of quarantine, and here I am back looking completely different. My apartment looks completely different, but this isn't going to be a catch up video. I mean, I guess I can do that some other time, but today I wanted to just do something a little bit more low key and lighthearted and do a collective haul um, of a bunch of vintage goodies that was gifted to me when I went to see my friend in Delaware and some things I got at thrift shops when I was there and some things I bought recently um, at the mall. Um, I'm at a mall because I work at a mall. So I'm there anyway. So um, don't think of it as, oh, I'm out and about in the pandemic um, shopping at malls. I am not, but I mean, if I'm going to be at work, might as well, you know, <laughs> I mean, might as well, I'm there. But yeah, so well, let's get into it. All right, so um, we're going to get into this haul. And I haven't done YouTube in so long, y'all. So if I'm a little bit awkward or anxious, and this will be a try on haul. I mean, I know they can be a little, uh, you know, I don't know, Jimbo, I don't know the word, strenuous, I guess, kind of. It takes a lot of energy to film um, try on hauls sometimes uh, because you got to try it on. But those are the type of hauls that I personally like to watch and I kind of hate watching like haul videos where they just show you the item but you don't see what it looks like on their body. Um, especially if it's an item sold at a store or online store where it's not like a vintage piece where I can buy it and maybe I put in the search bar that particular garment item. And... I want to see what it looks like on a body like mine's and I am a plus size body so yeah so let's get into it shall we the first is this dress that um that I'm in I'll stand up right now it's a lovely dress I move my seat back a little bit this is the dress that I'm in and um as you can see it has this cute little like ribbon bow thing over here and I'm just step back so y'all can see it's not short at all um it doesn't come with a belt I decided to add one to give me to show my waist because uh, it's you know I feel like this sort of um free form sort of outfit uh belt to cinch in your waist gives it more structure and it looks super cute and yeah so this is the first outfit and this was gifted to me by my friend emily lynn who lives in delaware um you guys should also follow her on instagram i'll leave her name down below her name is nut bogus and i'm here you should fucking follow her <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the first piece, and I may or may not show a side by side of the garment, but um, yeah, this is the first piece. On to the next. The next piece is this lovely little vintage lingerie piece that my friend Emily also was kind to give me when I visited her in Delaware. It's vintage. It's by a company called Private Matters. Super like, I don't know if y'all can see that because of the ring light. I can focus. Okay. Private Matters. Cute little vintage font. Um, super cute. I most likely will wear this for photo shoots. Um, I don't really wear lingerie at home. I don't have a partner, not just yet. Um, but I am looking for some fun suitors. So if you want to date the Black Dolly Parton, then though, yes. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. So this 
is another dress I got while I was in Delaware. I got this in the Amish country in Lancaster in Pennsylvania. My friend Callie um, showed me this. She was like, you should buy this dress. Like, it's super cute. It's like saloon girl vibes. So it has the soft baby pink like bodice. And it's like a high-low, so it's high, or I guess low, and then high down the bottom, or low down the bottom, high up top, however you see fit. But it's super cute. Very long. I would pair this maybe with some cargo boots, um, a cute little vintage maybe leather bag or something like that, and go on my merry way. Very cute. And this was free. This was about like... Ten dollars. It was super inexpensive. Again, we get it at the Goodwill in the Halloween costume section in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So the next item is this like vintage Hammer Horror nightgown that I purchased from um, Band Festival on Instagram. Um, uh, they reached out to me and were like, you know, this really suits your aesthetic and. Um, I bought it from her. So, yeah, it's super cute. I wore this once in a photo shoot. Um, you do, of course, need to wear something underneath if you're going to be wearing this outside, wearing it at photo shoots. It's super long, super hammer glamour. Um, it's just such a lovely piece. Has the lace. I guess it's kind of like a pinoir. That's what they kind of call them. But... Super pretty. Okay. I'm just trying to get back into my groove, y'all. So let me know if this is awkward. Um, and let me know if I'm talking really fast. <laughs> because, you know, cheers. Woo! The next two items I got at the mall. And this is this cute Aristocat money hoodie that I got at H&M. Look how cute. I love my Maddie. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a cat and I want to be her. Hi Miss Mojo! And my cat's like sniffing the clothes. Mojo don't even try it though. But um, look how cute. Super pretty. Um, so comfy. I really don't usually like pullover hoodies because I don't like things to mess up my hair. Mojo. Hey. I usually don't like pullover hoodies because I don't like things that mess up my hair. But um, most likely since it is getting pretty cold here in LA, I'm going to wear this like at home. Most likely like just lounging hoodie vibe. But it's so cute. What was that line? Girls don't start fights, we finish them. Like, she's so sassy and she's like the cutest thing. I got this in an extra large and it was $24.99 at H&M. The next thing I got at H&M is this beautiful, let me fix it, is this beautiful pink I don't know, is this chiffon? I don't know what type of material this is. This is skirt. This is super pretty. Um, I like the length of this skirt. This was on sale for $8.99 and it was also Black Friday when I got it, so there was additional discounts on it. So I paid like five five or so bucks for this skirt. It was on sale for $8.99. It originally is like $18 or something. I forget, but super pretty. It's like a pretty, such a pretty pink, and I'm a pink girl, and I really love pink, so I'm so excited to style this. Maybe I'll wear, like, my Jeffrey Campbell cowgirl boots or my Jeffrey Campbell glittery shoes, but this is such a vibe, and especially, like, with my big hair, like, this can be just such a cute look, and it has that lovely elastic waistband that I love. Um, because your girl is fluctuating and that's okay. I'm trying to survive the beer sickness. 
okay? The fear of sickness. And I'm trying to survive and just live and make it out. So if my body and my weight fluctuates, so be it. My body is doing its best to keep me happy and healthy. That's all that matters. Anyway, love this skirt. The next is um, another mall item. Okay. And this I got also at H&M. This is so pretty, y'all. Look at her. It, it gives me like Lana Del Rey vibes. I feel like she would have wore this during her Norman Rockwell tour. Um, just like the vibes. And when you put it on, it's so pretty. I want to wear this outfit, this dress. Um, maybe with my Jeffrey Campbell thigh high boots and a nice pretty handbag like this is just so beautiful it kind of has like a watercolor style floral painting um I know everyone's gonna be like not everyone but some people may look at it and be like huh but you kind of gotta like see the vision sometimes and this is definitely one of those items where I see the vision and um, I see the vision. So this is very pretty. I like this one a lot. And I got this in a size large. This was originally like 50, but it was on sale for 20. And then I get additional discounts on it as well. But no regrets, B. Love her. All right, let's go back to more pieces from um, Delaware. This was another lovely vintage nightgown that my friend Emily gifted to me when I was at her lovely home. Um, this is so pretty. Another long vintage nightgown. I also like to wear my belt that I currently have on now. Um, with this to cinch the waist to give it more of a vibe. If y'all follow me on Instagram, and most likely you do if you're watching this, because how else do you know with me probably unless you just found my page this fit come out honey i'm sorry if it did but um so anyway this is so cute i did stain it a little bit because i was living in this dress y'all i was eating in this and we went to this place called decades in lancaster and i wore this with my therapist Glitter shoes by Jeffrey Campbell. And um, yeah, it was super cute. And I wore like a cute little coach bag with it. And it's so lovely. Also has the lace neckline details over here. So super cute. Love it. And it's long. And with like, and I wore it with these earrings. So let's get into these earrings, y'all. Another thing that my friend Emily was so kind to get me these beautiful clip-on earrings. So, this is what they look like. And they just like add like this designing woman factor to like these outfits. It just gives me that like dynasty, 80s, like mob wife, opulence. You know, we love to see it. another gift <laughs> that my friend Emily gifted me. It's this lovely pink nightgown. And whoa, there goes my earring. Hold on. I'll be back. And the one thing also I forget to say about these clip-on earrings is that they don't hurt, which is usually the case for me in particular with clip-on earrings. They usually end up hurting. Uh, but these ones don't hurt me at all. So thumbs up. Anyway, back to this. This is another vintage nightgown. This is by Erica Lauren, New York. It may be vintage, but it looks vintage, but it's a beautiful baby pink. It hits a little bit above the knee on my body. I am rather tall, but you know, it hits nice on me. I will also wear this with a belt to cinch it. I do wear nightgowns as dresses. Uh, 
I love a vintage nightgown and I don't see why not wear it as a dress like it's very hammer horror film so I always wear my nightgowns as day wear or nightwear obviously I'm not going anywhere so all these lovely pieces hopefully someday soon I'll be able to um wear it out my next piece I got this in downtown Wilmington and I believe a Salvation Army and this is like a vintage piece from Mary Elise it's a vintage um I think it's like 80s early 90s vibes heart robe it's super cute um, I really don't wear robes indoors. I like to just wear a hoodie if I get cold at home. So I really don't know why I bought this. I just bought it really like, one, it matches like my aesthetic and two, like, it's so cute and I'm sure I can find some way to wear this like, like with maybe an outfit as like a cardigan type thing. Obviously it's um, short sleeved. So I can't do that in the winter time because it does get cold in LA. Despite contrary belief, um, this is in a size medium. This is it. Super cute. But yeah, I will definitely probably wear this as an outer piece um, in this fall or summertime when it gets cold at night in the summer when things open back up. <laughs> and our last piece, y'all, is also from H&M, I got this dress for $5, and it's just like this random, like, hippie looking, like, to 60s. I feel Lana also would wear this dress. It's a buttoned down dress with, like, this, like, you know, it reminds me of a dishcloth with that, like, not embroidered, but, like, those little holes over there. So I bought this for $5, and I'm not going to keep it this color. I'm going to buy some fabric dye, grit dye, and I'm probably going to um, dye it periwinkle or like baby blue, maybe baby pink, probably not, or red, no. Most likely periwinkle, yellow, or baby blue. I haven't decided yet, but this is going to be my little experiment. Super cute. I, I love the silhouette. I love the fabric. It's very stretchy, uh, very comfortable. I got this in a size large, um, but I don't like the color. It's very you like dish rag looking, you know, it looks like a towel your mom has in the kitchen that she uses to uh, clean dishes. And it's just like, eh. So maybe I can film the process of dyeing this turning it from drag to fab. But yes, that is it. That was my little collective haul. It's not that much stuff. I'm looking at my closet right now, trying to see it. Am I forgetting something? I probably am, but it's okay. Um, I'm so happy, happy to be back. And I hope, hopefully you guys are happy to see me. And um, trying to get back into the ball of YouTube. I did miss it. And I'm just trying to find my groove again and my love and my passion for YouTube because I do miss being on this platform. And hopefully you guys miss me too. All right, so that's the end of our video. Um, all my social media links will be down below for my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'm active on all three. And the link for my website um, I do have a calendar that's on for pre-sale, probably by the time this is out, pre-sale and sale is over and we're already shipping, but if not, I'll put that down below. I had such a ball talking to y'all, and I miss you, and, um, yeah, let's keep the good times going. Stay safe out there, take care of one another, and I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!